News 46 is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. News is also brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, the world turns blue for autism. The annual Easter picnic will be held on Saturday, and the first annual music and art in the park will be at Ian Deutsch. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening. It's Thursday, April 2nd, World Autism Day 2015. I'm Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Landmarks around the globe are being illuminated in blue lights today to mark World Autism Awareness Day 2015. The sixth annual Light It Up Blue campaign is a striking visual reminder of the challenges autism poses to millions of people and their families and of how much more work needs to be done to understand the developmental disorder. One in 68 children in the United States is diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder. The statistics released last year reflect a nearly 30 percent increase increase in rates of autism spectrum disorders over the course of only two years. The increase is partly due to greater awareness among parents and doctors, but experts say the condition also appears to be occurring more frequently for reasons that are not well understood. Autism spectrum disorders are a group of developmental issues that affect a person's social, communication, and behavioral functioning. The diagnosis includes milder forms of the disorder, such as Asperger's syndrome. While researchers continue their efforts to identify how and why autism develops, some are seeing success with early intervention programs. One study published last fall found that if treatment begins as early as the first six months of life, it can vastly improve a child's outcome and possibly even eliminate symptoms. Clark County commissioners and representatives from four local organizations have come together once again to turn the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign blue in recognition of today, which is World Autism Day and Autism Awareness Month. The officials held a brief ceremony in front of the world-famous sign this morning. The light bulbs on the sign located on Las Vegas Boulevard are usually yellow and surround the border. The community is invited to the annual Easter egg hunt at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park. This Saturday, April 4th, is the annual Easter picnic that the Coalition's Holiday Task Force plans. So it's actually the, uh, the first holiday event of the year, of 2015. Uh, but we're, again, this Saturday, April 4th, from 10 to 2 at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park. Um, many things like last year, one big change from last year as well. So um, we are planning on a large crowd like we had. Uh, last year, about 2,500 people attended, and we have, I think, 3,500 hamburgers and hot dogs to give away. Kettle, corn, mm -hmm. cotton candy, all of those festival goodies. Oh, and ice cream. Ice cream. I know our ice cream sandwiches are supposed to arrive tomorrow. Uh, we've ordered 1,500 of those to give away. Um, so all kinds of things, activities for kids. Uh, one thing that we've done this year is we have a number of vendors or exhibitors that have programs or activities for families and kids. So it, it'll be a great chance to um, to see uh, about some of the opportunities for, for activities for kids. The big change from this year, for those that attended last year's Easter egg hunt, and it was a little hectic, a little chaotic, um, is that we're changing the format completely, working with... Uh, PETA, the Pahrump Disability Outreach Program. Um, the Easter egg hunt this year is going to look a little bit more like Halloween, like a trick-or-treating. And all of the different exhibitors will have eggs, and the children and young families will kind of work their way around the park in that way. So we won't have the mad dash, uh, the chaos, the uh, dropping kids over the fence, uh, <laughs> things like that. Yeah, that was going on. People were kind of picking up their kids and putting them on the other side of the fence, and then some people were saying that they didn't get eggs and yeah. different age groups. So that was one of our challenges is from last year to the year before, 
Uh, we grew from an event that had uh, about 500 people, four or 500 people came and enjoyed the food and the atmosphere and the Easter egg hunt was earlier in the morning, so there was a big gap. We knew it would grow last year. We didn't expect it to grow from four or 500 people to 2,500 people. Uh, we've planned for it this year and think we're gonna have a great, safe family um, fun day on this Saturday, April 4th from 10 to 2 at in Deutsch Memorial Park. And so uh, the kids will go, f like you said, from vendor to vendor. So be prepared for that Easter egg hunt, though it'll look a little bit different. Yeah, it'll, it'll actually feel like Halloween. It'll feel like uh, trick-or-treating. Um, so all of the different vendors are being provided with eggs, uh, you know, with candy, and then we'll have face painting like we have before. And, you know, Pete Ops uh, train will be there. It's, it's had a facelift. I haven't seen it since. Uh, it's not the turtle train anymore. It's kind of a Western theme. And we'll have a bounce house, and there'll be some activities and all kinds of fun things. And then everything is free. That is going to be so much fun. We will return in just a moment with more local news. This portion of the news is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. Welcome back to News 46. Here's Ron Chase with Nevada Public Auction. Hey, well, all right, sir, Today's there, auction to news ahead, is brought to you by here, Nevada guys, Public Auction. Well, this weekend is actually Easter weekend, so we're not going to have a sale. Uh, we're going to spend some time with our families, so uh, we wish everybody else uh, a good, happy Easter weekend. And, of course, but next week we have a nice big sale coming up, and you got to see some of the stuff behind us coming in. Uh, some nice formal furniture, tons of coins again, gold, silver, you name it. Lots of nice jewelry, too, turquoise jewelry, a lot of Indian, uh, Native American jewelry, uh, some cowboy hats, some antiques. I mean, it'll be such a great sale next weekend, you don't want to miss out. You guys are already preparing. That's how much uh, work and effort's going into the sale. Uh, absolutely. We're actually simultaneously preparing for the next three auctions, as crazy as that sounds. But yeah, so next weekend will be great, though. We'll talk about just one at a time. And uh, yeah, like I said, nice uh, Stetson uh, cowboy hats, antique tools, nice furniture behind us, uh, glass china hutch, um, Murano glass, Native American pottery, some fine art. I mean, again, it'll be a fantastic sale next weekend. Tell me about the preview and uh, what time does this uh, auction start? Well, this will actually be another catalog sale, so probably sometime... Um, Hopefully by the time the news comes out, mm -hmm. you'll see the full catalog online. Uh, and uh, if not, then just uh, preview our website, auctionnv.com. We'll have some pictures, uh, the full catalog once it's available. And then next Friday from a, uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. is preview. And then you can also preview on Saturday before the auction? That's correct. So Saturday before the auction. Uh, now, preview is going to get a little shorter on Saturdays because we're going to go to our new summer hours. It gets a little warmer outside, so we start our auctions at 10 a.m. now. But we open at 9 a.m. on Saturday for preview. So coming out for the first hour, preview everything, auction starts at 10 a.m. And where are you guys located? 800 Market Street. That's one street past the hospital. And uh, the phone number here is 751-4867. Hey, well, all right, sir. Today's well, auction to news ahead. is brought to you by here, Nevada guys, Public Auction. Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson signed a religious freedom measure into law today after state lawmakers overhauled their proposal so that it mirrors the federal law. In the wake of intense backlash against a similar law in Indiana, the first-term Republican governor had rejected the first versions Arkansas lawmakers had sent to his desk, instead asking for two tweaks so that there would be no daylight between his state law and the one President Bill Clinton signed in 1993. Meanwhile, Hutchinson said he's considering signing an executive order that bars discrimination among the state's workforce. Today's measure would mean Arkansas residents cannot discriminate against an individual. They can, however, discriminate against a message that they do not feel comfortable with. Following Indiana, Arkansas has become the second of what could be a spat of states to add religious freedom laws to their books in 2015. There are 14 other states considering similar proposals this year. And in a related story, Salesforce CEO Mark Bedenoff is helping employees who are uncomfortable with Indiana's controversial religious freedom law to transfer out of the state. Bedenoff said that several employees have asked for transfers, and he has agreed, even supplying relocation packages. Bedenoff acknowledged that Salesforce won't be able to completely pull out of Indiana, given the size of the company's operations there, but the company is helping individual employees who feel oppressed to leave. The move is in response to a law signed last week by Indiana Governor Mike Pence that allows businesses to refuse service to gay, lesbian, and transgender people on religious grounds. 
The first annual Art in the Park fundraiser is happening soon. It's um, to help raise money for the uh, arts at Front Valley High School. It's April 18th at Ian Deutsch Park. We are inviting all ages, adults, kids, young and old, to come out and entertain, come out and display their art. And art is subject to what somebody thinks is art. And we are hoping that it'll also the kids will see this and also be encouraged to want to join art and want to join music in the high school. And we're hoping that it'll kind of, the young ones will encourage them to join art and, and music in the high school and stuff. So Art in the Park is going to be on April 18th at Ian Deutsch Memorial Park. You guys are going to have uh, or, um, displays and people participating. Can the general public participate in it? Yeah. It's, um, it, anybody can come. There's no admission. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have stuff for the kids. We're going to have stuff for the adults. Mm -hmm. We're going to have people displaying their art. We're going to have um, the high school uh, will be playing and singing. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to be uh, doing food. Um, this is a fundraiser, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. For the art program inside the high school? Um for for most of it's basically it's going to go for the for the music department. Mm -hmm. It's going to pay for uniforms and instruments and music. For more information, is there a number to call? Yes, it's seven seven five nine one zero nine zero zero one. When we return, we'll have your weekend sports with Courtney Zalman.